was about 12 years ago that a, a group of dedicated women in Houston that were involved with the Salvation Army to some extent or another decided, let's activate a women's auxiliary. There were 49, I believe, charter members of our group. We now have almost 500 in our organization. It's for one thing, it's a sisterhood of wonderful, wonderful women. And these were women that came together for many different reasons, but one of the reasons was the appreciation of what the Salvation Army has done in Houston. It speaks to my heart. It's had, it has since day one. We are privileged to work with some incredible people and hands-on with the people that are in need through the family residence, through Sally's house, through the program we do at Christmas, the Boys and Girls Clubs. We actually get to meet the people that we serve, and that is such a privilege. We have been ambassadors for the Salvation Army throughout the city. People come up to us all the time. We didn't know y'all did that. We thought you only rang bells. But we all know that the Salvation Army works 365 days a year, and we have done our best to make that message possible. We decided that we would have a fundraising, one fundraiser a year. We named it Reflections on Style so that it would have a continuing name that would become known in Houston. When we started this, we really didn't have any idea how people would feel about, felt, we felt like they'd be good about donating the clothes, but we didn't know how they would feel about buying used clothes. And that first year, and every year since, we raised enough money to benefit every facility that the Army serves in Houston. We went to the core locations and we said, you know, how can we help? And each of the locations would put together a list of things that they needed and that just wasn't in their budget to be able to do. In their uh, short history, they've uh, been able to raise over approximately $3 million that have impacted youth, that have impacted seniors, that have impacted uh, the clients that we serve throughout the Air Command. They are more than happy to give away 90% of what they earn. They keep very little for themselves. I think there are some beautiful Christian women that make up this organization. Now, I look at the Women's Auxiliary here and I think of two words, grace and power. Truly, I, I think there was someone in our organization that said um, our best men are women. And I think that guy was on to something. And, uh, but grace and power, just wonderful ladies that have impacted our lives personally, but it impacted this appointment uh, for years to come.